the OmniLite Advance Effects Rollout. So if here we just have a sphere with some material on it, two lights. I'm going to pick on one of the lights and I'm going to go to my Modify tab. And I'm going to go down to my Advanced Effects. You might have to hit the plus sign in order to, to uh, get that to come up. And under the Effect Surfaces, we have Contrast. Now the contrast is the amount to adjust the contrast between the two different areas of the object that are affected between the diffuse and ambient lighting. So we can kick this up and this will have more um, more difference between the, the two ambient and the diffuse area. We can soften the diffuse edges. So here we have a diffuse edge wrapping around here. We can soften that. Right now at zero it's a sharp line. And I can kick that way up to like a hundred. So I'll, I'll kick it up to a hundred and you probably don't see nothing. But if we go and render it you can see how it goes really fuzzy between the edge. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and I'll change that back to zero. And now we'll go and run a render. And you can see how it's more of a distinct line in between there. So the uh, soft and the diffuse edges uh, makes it a little bit more realistic. Uh, when it's set at zero, it kind of looks more uh, computerish. Uh, also down here, we can decide whether we want the diffuse lighting or spe specular lighting. So I could turn off, and I have two lights. I'm only affecting this one light right now. I can turn off the specular, and I can say, well, okay. And I could turn off the diffuse. So the diffuse lighting is the majority of its color, the specular is that shiny spot. If I say only ambient lighting, uh, I'm only getting the ambient lighting from the lights. So, and it grays out the other two. So I can choose what kind of type of lights, I'm, uh, what kind of material or uh, color I'm using from my material. When I set up my material, I have these three values. I can also use this to be a projector. I can turn this light into a projector. So I can come and click on the none and say, oh, what do you want to project on there? I'll project a bitmap. I'll go find a bitmap uh, that I have. And uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with, uh, Let's go with that one right there. And so now I'm projecting that map onto that light, uh, making this into a projector and shining it on this object. And uh, I can come over here and put it into a spot. And then I probably want to rotate that light. So I'm actually rotating it on my all right, and then now I'm using that as a projector. So now when I come up in render, right, I'm getting an image on this side of the of the object. Right, I'm using it as a projector, and I'm shining that image on that side of the of the image. So I'm, I'm making it like a movie camera you know a projector in the theater and I'm shining a, an image onto this right side of this sphere and uh, so when I go into uh, in my general effects or I mean um, advanced, my advanced uh, uh, lights I can go back to Omni here and I have this projector map Okay, and so in here I can project onto that onto that screen with any image I want. So I can project like a um, pretty much in a movie house a projector shining something on a screen. So 
we have two basic areas in here uh, in our advanced effects. We have affecting the surfaces of the lights, um, and we have a projector and how we set up that projector. So I can turn that off actually, and I can come down really and say, okay, uh, I don't have it projected now. But uh, these I can set up to control the edges and the softness between my two diffuse colors.